Hello everyone. So in this today's video, we're gonna learn what is output decorator in Angular. We make use of this output decorator to send data from child component to your parent component. All right. So let's check here. So I have this application here. I have my parent component and my child component. Let's see this in VS Code. Here you can see I have this parent component and inside it I have this child component created. Okay. So let's first have that hierarchy. So here inside my parent component or HTML, you can see I have this app child selector. The selector is of your child component of this. Let me show you that. So this is the selector which I'm using. Okay. So now let's have that now. But now let's check our requirement here first. Okay. So let's create a button here inside your child component. That when I press on a button, so at that time it will emit a data to your parent component. So let's create a button. Okay. Primary and it will have a name as send data to parent. Okay. So what I have to do when I press on this button, so I have to emit a data which gets sent to this parent component. Okay. Suppose inside my TS child TS, I have a property. Uh, child data which is of string type and I have to pass this data data from child component okay so I have to pass this data now inside our parent component so how I can do it so it's quite simple we just need to use some uh, output decorator here so the first step would be we need to import output decorator and event emitter here Okay, let's import that from angular slash code. We have this output, we have this event emitter. Let's try to use that output emitter. So this is the type of decorator. So here you can see output. Let's give a name child string data. So basically it will be uh, because we have to emit. So we will we are using this emitter here. So which helps to emit that data. So that's the reason we are having this emitter event emitter okay so let's create that event emitter which is of type string equals to new event emitter okay now we can make use of this event emitter here with this child string data okay so event emitter helps to emit as i have told you so what i have to do i have to uh, press on this button and at that time i have to send the data so let's have a method here for that button so let's have a method name as send data and when the button is clicked what I have to do I have to emit so what I have to emit I have to emit this child data so how I can do it I will have to make use of this particular property which I have created okay this is special type of property now because it has this output decorator here so I will make use of this this dot child string data dot as I have told you I have to emit so this has a, this method called emit let's use that and what i have to emit i have to pass it here inside this method so inside this parameter basically so i have to pass this child data so i'll have this this dot child data okay so this was all we have to do inside our child component all right so in this way we have like completed 50 percent of the work so now what i have to do i have to receive the data right inside our parent so inside of a parent component here you can see we have this selector here all right so we will have to make use of that output okay so we have uh, given some name here to this output particular uh, decorator so we have this name so we have to use this name all right so this is of type event so that's why we are using this round bracket let's copy this and inside your parent component inside this round bracket i have to use this name all right I have to pass data from child to the parent all right so we must have a property uh, which will receive this data all right so this is your child and here you should have a property or a method name of the parent component all right so this is of type event all right so inside our parent I will have a method here receive data so this is basically an event so inside which event we will receive our data so let's create a event type event all right so now let's create this we are getting this error because this is not created inside your uh, parent dot component dot ts so let's copy this method 
and let's create it here all right so in this event we will receive our data let's have a type as string because we are receiving a string data here so now let's try to console this event and let's check what we get sorry we have to console event console.log event right. so we have to check what we are receiving inside this event all right let's try to do that i have consoled this so what our flow will be now when we press on this button when press on this send data to parent so at that time a method should called the method should be this send data okay so this method has to be called here when we click so let's try to do that here let's have a click event and when the it is clicked we have to call this method let's save it and let's check our output okay so when i press this send data to parent uh, it should get logged inside our console okay let's try to do it send data so here you can see we are receiving data from child component right and where we are receiving it we are receiving it in your parent component dot ts okay let's try to have that let's interpolate that data okay so inside of parent i will have a property child data received of type string okay, let's have this it's Okay, let's try to interpolate it on your HTML. Let's have a h4 tag, and inside which I will have this. Okay. Hmm. Let's check now. When I press here, so so data should display here. And then so I am getting this data, data from child component. Sorry, it is coming inside it because I have to use this above the. Edge. Okay, so this differentiate that this is uh, the parent and below a child it is our child. Let's save it and let's check now. When I press on send data, so here you can see data from child component is received inside your parent component. So all right, guys. So this was all about like passing data from your child component to your parent component. I'll just tell you something which is very important here. So whatever the decorator which you use, suppose it is an output. or it is an input decorator all that should happen inside your child component all right so here what i did for the first step was i have imported this output at event emitter all right so i have this property name now child string data which will helps to emit whatever data i want to send from your child component so this is what i did i have created a method uh, in this method uh, helps to emit the data and this method is called when when i click this button okay So whenever this button is clicked, this will send data to the parent component. And when we have to receive the data, so inside your parent component, you have to make this. So here in the selector, so this name should match the name of which you had inside your child component. All right. So this name should match this. All right. The property name which you have inside your child. And where you want to receive the data, you have to receive it in your parent. So this method should be there inside your parent component. So this is your child. This is your parent. You have to receive data inside here in this receive data. So this is basically an event. So I'm having this event type, okay, inside your parameter receive data parameter. So here you can see where I have this method inside my parent now, and here I can receive my data and I can make use of it. All right. So that's that's all about the lecture today for like how we can make use of this at the rate output decorator in Angular. All right. So if you have any doubt, you can make use of comment section and you can drop whatever error you are facing. I'll I'm there to help you guys. All right. So bye bye and keep learning.